is so cold. <sighs> no, no, you know what? Oh, this is, this is much nice. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello everyone, what is up? I am here, as you can tell, not in my home because I am here with the beautiful, lovely Tati Westbrook. I'm sure many of you, if not all of you, already know her and we have known each other a for long so long. <laughs> Break them apart and there's like chalk or and then it like turns yeah, into like chalk powder. In your hands. And so long, it has been forever. Mm -hmm. So we had to get together today yes. and hang out. Bun girls. I know, you right? Know? This is called, I want to be glamorous, but I'm also really lazy. <laughs> that was us today. That's today. Welcome. So today we thought it'd be really fun if we played around because it's new year, it's yeah. a new fun time, and we mm -hmm. thought we would play around with some of our favorites, but also least favorite products yes. of all of 2019. So what we're going to be doing is today I'm going to be trying out all of Tati's Worst of. You're trying the favorites. No, am I trying the favorites for this You're one? Do we know what we're doing? Now Hold I'm on. Confused. Now I'm confused again. We're doing a swap, double swap, fails, loves. We are applying it on both channels, so either <laughs> way. Wait, <laughs> yes, I'm gonna look like garbage with the fail products. I'm not that professional. You know. We're wearing really? we're wearing buns and have glitter all over our faces That's today. That's true. It, you guys, it's not dandruff. <laughs> it's glitter. I'm a very professional CEO. I get down and dirty with the glitter, so like I basically it's rolled like around in it yesterday. Yeah. You got lots of it. We're working it's on okay. 20, like 2020 mm -hmm. dreams and fantasies of glitter, more glitter, and it's everywhere. So That's it that. should be. It should be. That's yeah, I, I aspire I to be so. like that in my life. So today, I am going to be trying out. Hold on. This what is gonna take us doing? four hours to film this video. Tati is going to be wearing all of my worst of products. Oh, I almost got it wrong there, but I didn't. I'm going ah. to be wearing all of her favorites from 2019. So excited. I'm gonna look so good. You're gonna look amazing. <laughs> you are gonna freak out when you see the products I picked. I don't want to see them. There are some My colors. products are really bad too. <laughs> so when we do the thing on my channel, like- um, We're gonna swap. You're in for it. You're yeah. in for a treat. Cause I, I work hard all year long. I'm like, this is terrible. You know what I'll save this for? The worst of the year. <laughs> You're gonna and save this goes, for Rachel. I am on the other hand, going to hand you my very favorite so you can look just like so beautiful. I'm so excited. Okay. I actually, I kind of caught a glimpse. I know this is not very fair, but I caught a glimpse and you like this too. I do. <gasps> I'm in love with this. So it's good. so good. This is the Cover FX Gripping Primer. Mm -hmm. And I have talked about this so much. I had to put it down so that it didn't seem like that was all I used. Same. That's it's why so I haven't good. used it in a hot minute because I was like, oh my gosh, can you like, you're gonna be the most boring like <laughs> guru, like find something else. It keeps everything in place. It's very tacky mm -hmm. when you apply it to the skin, yep. which can like throw you off if you're not preparing for it. Though I feel like gripping primer kind of gives it away. <laughs> it kind of tells you it's gonna just stick it to your face and you're gonna just be like good all day long, mm -hmm. right? It's so amazing. it really elongates the wear. That's what I like about it. Okay, what you got me, for me? I have got this one by Makeup Revolution. Oh, it is a yes. pro base blur I'm ready primer. for a breakout. <laughs> and it has illumination, which Ooh. they have taken to mean glitter on your face. So. Well, we're already <laughs> halfway there. That really, oh. Oh, well, there really is glitter in here. Why is there really glitter in here? Like literal chunks of glitter. And it kind of feels like glue. Yeah. But not in like a- Not in this way. But like in a kind of like lip gloss way. <laughs> what is this? This yeah. is new for me. Yeah, I was um, I was not prepared for um, that one. I was all excited because blurring, great. Illuminating, great. Glitter I'm on the face, not only great. if you're testing things in a lab. Right. I'm putting a timer on my phone of when I'm gonna wash my face because- Yeah, is this is gonna break you minutes, out? 60 minutes in this. Yeah. You guys, gonna... this is like lip gloss. Look at this though. Yeah. And it has glitter in it. Okay, you're already like a home run of the worst products home run. Wait, we were talking about this, about how we always do the disclaimer of like, if you guys love this product, please keep loving it. And that is true, even with mm -hmm. something like this. If you like lip gloss on your face as primer, glitter, you do you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there will be products in here that people probably love. Yeah, like jokes and aside, that's good. That, yeah. that is true. So just keep you know using what you love. And these videos are always meant to help and not harm, but it also be fun. They're it just is kind of fun. funny. This you is know? kind of funny, right? It feels yeah. really gross. I don't yeah. like it. Okay, so now 
I am going to have you use a little bit of the Revlon Candid. Now, do you do foundation or concealer first? Do you have a I preference? Usually do, I usually do foundation first, but you do concealer first? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, we're gonna mix yeah, it up. Yeah, I like let it. Let me see your hand. I need to see what kind of shade you got going on. Oh, that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. That's like the problem of doing these swap videos is like, <laughs> let me give you my shade. <laughs> oh, that's better for yeah, you. Yeah, I think that one's a better one, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we'll this one. is a really nice texture. It's very thin, but it has a nice amount of coverage. It's not drying. I like to use one that matches my foundation perfectly on the face as well, so that then I can just go really light with foundation and kind of mm -hmm. like fool you. Okay, okay what do you got for concealer for okay, me? Okay, this one is by Lawless. Oh no. And this is their um, concealer. Mm. I really like her so much. I know. I find it, okay, When if you want to talk about bias, I find it very hard to talk poorly about Lawless. Lawless I, has the best liquid lipsticks. They do, they They're sure beautiful. do. beautiful. The eyeshadows are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Didn't like the powder. The foundation made me very oily. I, I wanted out. to love that. Let's you know? see if I can find redeeming qualities. You know? Probably not. I we know. have very similar taste in makeup. Wait, yeah. have you used this a lot? No. Stop that. I know. I used it once. Enjoy! Wait, no, 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 no. Yeah. You guys, this is like dry. It's like powder. Mm -hmm. No! I know. What? I know. How do you blend out your concealer? I should have asked you this before I like put it on. Right. Um, I usually use kind of a flat foundation brush and then if I have to kind of bounce a, a beauty sponge or something like that to get some excess off, I will. We got a whole drawer right behind you if you need. Oh, oh this is so convenient. It's literally right here. Okay, this is terrible. Yeah, I was really sad about it. I mean, that looks nice on you. I like this a lot. It's that nice balance of full coverage, but not looking full coverage, you know? Ooh! Have fun I look, blending that I in. look rough. It's all uphill from here, maybe? I feel like I need more on this side, right? A little bit. Yeah. I have something else if you have like a moment of, of darkness. Mm-hmm. Have you tried this? Ooh, no. What's this? I always, this is from Catrice. You can get this at Ulta drugstore product and you can just take like a little hit of it and because it has that kind of peachy, pinky tone to it, if you Ooh. have like I do right here, the mm -hmm. darkness right here, you can kind of, see what I just did? Let me show you. <laughs> Cheating. Yeah, so you can just do that, and that, <laughs> that looks great. Should probably do it on the other side because you know everyone needs to see. Yeah, that's. Oh, I like that. Right. It's like actually surprisingly like super good. That's so nice. Ooh, I just abandoned your brush when in with my fingers. Now. That's okay. Sometimes that's the better way to go. Ooh. I mean. It's good, right? That's so nice. Yes. So you're gonna find a new favorite here. Oh, I'm excited. Take this one now, right? But, like, but I'm putting this in my bag. What James one time called. He was reading it wrong. He called Catrice cat rice, and that's all I see it as now. I well. can't. You can't unsee, unsee that it. now. Okay, so now what do you okay. do? So now into. I'm pretty sure you've tried this before for foundation. Are you ready for this one? Oh, Have you tried? This? No. Yeah. Yes, I. Look yeah. how gross it is too. I really tried to clean it up for you. Like you're supposed to apply it after you go to the gym. And I'm like, oh, yeah, right. well, how are you supposed to like get go around with like a real. paddle and just like get, get it on there? All right, so okay. I'm gonna what do you work give really me? hard to blend that in and you mm -hmm. have a real treat. I'm excited. Okay, the Smashbox foundation, <gasps> it's full coverage yes. to high heaven. So it is not an everyday like, I'm just picking the kids up, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like it is like very much, you're blanking out the face, you're flawless. But I really love the way this foundation wears. You have to blend it pretty quickly because okay. it does dry down fast. Which one? Which are these? Blue? I got you obviously the wrong shades. I can make that work. Can you make yeah. that work? How do you blend this one? How do you usually put on your foundation? Beauty blender? You I need use, beauty blender? Yeah, I use like a sponge, like one of these ones, like oh, the stands oh, out. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, 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 use that. And how much is this, is this too much? I would dot it on the face and okay. then work fast. Well, it's gonna be a little dark. It's a little dark. It's a little dark. Might be a neck bronze kind of a day. <laughs> you know? I can help you with that. Yeah. The consistency is really nice it's for this pretty one. It's insane, right? Yeah. So I got off the plane last night and didn't go to sleep until 3 a.m. my time, which is like midnight here. Oh, see, I was on Pinterest at 3 a.m. my time. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I was doing this. Oh, I have to wake up and work out in the morning. I, if I go to bed right now, one, two, three. You know, who needs dream. more than two hours sleep, really? What have I done to you? This is not your shade. This is not my shade at all. Yeah. Take it off, take yeah. it off. Wait, can I contour you? I yes. Contour you. I love contour, but I just don't do it as oh, much okay. as I should. It turns into like a switching makeup slash Tati also does my makeup video. Oh. Do you see this? Look at this self tanner mark. It looks like a freckle. I have a lot of self tanner on right now. I don't want to take off the concealer though because it's so good. Okay, so while you are removing that, let me explain what my next steps are. This right here is new from Physicians Formula. This is the Sculpting Bronzer with Jojoba Oil. This is a newer item for me, but it was so good when I first tried it that I had to include it in a best of the year because you don't often find from the drugstore a really intensely pigmented, easy to blend it's stick very contour, creamy. right? Mm -hmm. Like this is gorgeous and it definitely rivals some of the higher end stuff and it's just unusual. So I really wanted to include it. I never get my makeup done, so this is exciting. You have great skin. Oh, thank you. Beautiful skin. <laughs> Right, literally right next to the microphone. <laughs> That's a favorite of mine too, actually. Obsession. So good. This is the, the L'Oreal mm -hmm. Infallible 24-hour mm -hmm. fresh wear. You guys have seen, I have talked about this so much. It is so good. I'm sad I have to take this off after. Put on the bad makeup. I know, right? Payback, man. You really do have gorgeous skin. You are too kind. I'm, really, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever contour your lips? No, I've never done that. Guess I'm doing that today. <laughs> right, yes. And done. Favorites. And I just got foundation in your hair, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm not worried about it. Now we have glitter and foundation. This is very calming. Right? Bit of a blot. I'm also gonna swirl it up. Mmm. Ooh, puppy lair. Probably my kids. <laughs> Mom, where are you? <laughs> Julie couldn't believe there was no snow. She's like, what? Where are you? <laughs> While you're telling me that, I realized the unflattering angles are getting worse. <laughs> I, was just, I, I was just going like, I was going. <laughs> That's so high oh, like wow, my makeup you, artist. You do have a, a self tan moment yeah, happening. Do you see that? Here, lift your um, necklace. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll get, rid of, we'll we'll get rid of that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get rid of that. Like, what is this? I'll show you the powers of this. This will actually show it off. Oh, I'm excited. I'm not taking this off though. <laughs> this, this is gonna stay on. Getting up close and personal with Tati Westbrook. Okay. Ooh, disappears. That is gone. Not bad, right? Yeah. It would be more impressive if, if this was actually like your perfect shade match, but it's not bad, right? Yeah. And what I like about this one too is when you do find that shade match that you like, you can kind of do spot concealing really easily. Ooh. Wow. That was very full coverage. I am not mad at it though. Yes. Ooh, ah. Ooh. <gasps> I love this. Can't say the same about my foundation. No, I'm but very sorry, but I'm also on. not sorry. <laughs> What's next? Powder. Powder, yeah, okay. This is also Wet n Wild. Now the reason I included this one is because when this product came out, it is the Mega Glow Brightening Rocks, but when they described it online, mm -hmm. it was a brightening setting powder. No. That was also for the full, full face. And you can also use it because it has the different colored rocks in it for color correcting. And I was like, this is a highlight though. Okay, what powder you got? Huda. Ooh, Huda. Okay, this stuff is matte, isn't it? Yep. It's super it's matte. It's very, this is probably why you brought this. You're like, illuminating setting powder. Yeah, and we'll, ended up we'll mix like, it up. Oh my gosh. I'm so pretty. You know what? Sometimes you just gotta give yourself a boost. <laughs> this is the highlighter challenge. And do you like cake it on? and like do the whole like baking thing? I usually do, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't normally bake, so. Except for on your baking channel. Da -ding, da -ding. Hi yeah, we actually uh, have a dad joke counter now on my channel, cause that's how embarrassing I am. They're not even dad jokes anymore, they're just. <laughs> they're, you know, the worst part is, is I actually think I'm funny. 
it's, well, it's all of us, right? <laughs> I'm that person that you will laugh more at me laughing at my own jokes than the <laughs> joke itself. We're okay with our dad joke moments. Okay, so you just put I it like this. I think this looks great. I look great. <laughs> you look great. I, you know what? I do look great. You look great. Let me work on brows, because that usually takes a decade. Ooh, won't today. All I could find that I like really didn't like. Because a lot of times like brow products, it's it's a matter of like finding the right undertone and mm -hmm. the right consistency. And like every brand has really been stepping up their game so much. And so for me, something that I did not like was the Sigma Tint and Tame Brow Gel. I just found it was very thick. It was very pigmented. Okay. It was just like, it was just, it was a lot. What color is it? This is medium. I had to carry this on a plane so you don't get many options. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> That's all. You look great. How long do you keep this on for? Is this enough time? Do I do more? Beep, beep, you're done. Do I have, I do have foundation in my hair. You know, maybe we're going for a bold brow moment. I actually really underestimated how pigmented this, I saw like brow gel and I'm thinking like, you know, can't be that bad. Then it comes Rachel. It's a lot disperses off of the brush like i can kind of take away the excess and make it work like i want to look like i have brows so that's mm -hmm. why i'm doing this yeah it's it's a, the wrong shape <laughs> <laughs> all right well <laughs> you look like one of those angry birds <laughs> boom 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 bing bang boom okay i think we might need here's a spoolie that's the one drawback about this urban decay double ended brow product mm -hmm. is it doesn't have a spoolie so you sacrifice that for a felt tip on one side and then the actual little micro tip on the other but this is the one and only felt tip brow mm -hmm. that i like i feel like i'm gonna take longer to finish this see i got yeah. i got this down to kind of like moderately normal oh yeah Okay, yeah. That was it's night an and day. Yeah. It was just like so clearly the wrong shade for you. And I for that I am sorry. You gotta be light with this one. Yep. There is a little bit of a learning curve. Yeah. But once you get it on too and you understand the product, it just stays put. You know what? I don't have any bronzer or blush that was that terrible this year. Anymore. Okay, screw that. Whatever. Here you go. Yeah. Okay. So Amazing. there's bronzer in there. This is my like beloved hourglass, you know, holiday special. I've gotten this every single year and I eat my words because the first year they had it, I reviewed it and I was like, this is not worth your money. A girl can change her mind because you do not get as much product as you do in the larger pans. And so I didn't see the value in it. However, as far as what I reach for and love the most, year after year after year, I always, like almost every day use it. I like to say that it makes the skin look creamy. Like, so if you mm. ever have that kind of dry look to the skin where everything's kind of clung together and it's just looking too heavy and powdery, if you take one of their ambient powders, it diffuses everything. So which ones are, what colors are your favorite? So I kind of mix the top together for all over mm -hmm. and then I will do bronzer and then I don't use the blush as often because I want you to try um, the Honest Blush that I've used 5,000 quadrillion bajillion times on my channel. Ooh. Have you tried that? No, I've been trying to put my hands on this one. Mm -hmm. They're oh, impossible to so, find. Like, look at that shade. I that believe myself. Right up my alley. Yes, all of that, yes. I love blushes in this tone. Mm-hmm. They're my favorite. Ooh, pretty. Right? Like just so. It's so soft. And like you can take it there where it's hard. Like you can like, I mean, if you want to pump it up, you can totally boom, boom, like boom. make it super aggressive. But it's just, I'll even like on very no makeup makeup days, mm -hmm. I'll do that and I'll tap it on the lips as well and be like done. Okay, this is a crappy highlighter. Yeah, Sweet. this wasn't great. Yeah, it just, yep. It's chalky. chalky. And I don't understand because the e.l.f. Uh, other ones that look like this, I forget what they're Phenomenal. called. Phenomenal. So good. So good. So good. But that one- It's yeah, a I mystery, just, right? Yeah. I just don't understand where they went wrong with that Highlight on highlight. Oh, definite highlight moment. Ugh. <laughs> That's exactly how I felt. You're it's building chunky. it though. It's very chunky. Yeah. Scratchy, chunky, powdery. Not really descriptives that you want for a glow product. Or really any makeup product. Oh, this Pretty. looks really nice on you. Yeah. It's too bad you have to wash it off. Just reminded <laughs> me of that I'm sad. For your lip products. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you do a different order than me. Okay. This one is by Carity. It is their lip lock. And when I tried this, I was so excited because look at this color. 
It's beautiful. Really pretty. The, yeah, it's like what I'm about to give you. Oh, like almost identical. I was very excited. But then I put it on and then my lips were like so lined and dry and just, it didn't go on top smoothly. It just kind of sunk in and it was like just a really bad Sign formula me right for up. me. This is a pretty color. It is beautiful. Whoa. Um, I just sharpened this. Okay. This is one of my favorite lip oh, liners okay. ever, ever, ever. Ooh. Not expensive either. For, is that Sorme or Forme? Sorme. Sorme. Smear proof lip liner. This is Natural Nude 7. Wait, this is a liquid lip? Mm-hmm. I'm scared. Watch, well, I'm gonna eat my words because it'd be so much better if you apply it like that. I like the color. The color is really beautiful. So you're saying the dry down is terrible. I didn't like the dry down on me. I, hope, I actually hope that it works on you. She does <laughs> not know what she's talking about. Yeah, it's actually a new favorite. I almost stole the mirror right while you're in the middle of lining. <laughs> I can see why you don't like it though, because it's a puffy formula. Like this is what you're talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's making my lips look like a raisin. Mm -hmm. It's not cute. I don't want that. Okay, so what do you do after you line? Then I take this guy right here. This is Brulee from Dose of Colors. Mm. And I usually just tap, 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 tap into the lip. Look, it's actually kind of funny that it's almost identical. It's, it's like, like a little slightly pinker. Cool tone, yeah. But very, very similar. So you put it on like this, so you put it on and then just tap it. Mm -hmm. And then I go in with a gloss. Cause I like to layer up a lot of products. Mm -hmm. And my lips are so dry and it's like not emphasized. No, you it. just want to like, yeah, it's really, it's, I probably have five tubes of that color. No exaggeration. Is that not the best shade too? Like, okay, we're like wowing over the shade over here, but look at your lips and like, it's like the perfect. And it's like, and when like, mixed with this mm -hmm. one too, it kind of like, mm -hmm. it makes it a little bit like, oh, I like that. And then you take a little mm -hmm. bit of gloss, okay. just a tiny bit, go Which right in the center, fussy, ah, and you go up and you're just done. Ooh, okay. So you just put it right in the center? Mm -hmm. And a little bit over the top lip in the same place. Oh, that's so nice. Right? Ooh, look how, look how glossy that is. <gasps> I know, it's the yes. best combo. That's actually like the combo of the year. That is my favorite lip combo. I wear that almost every day. It's so pretty. What are we missing? This beautiful <gasps> woman. Um, She's very glamorous and glowy and um, has this fabulous palette uh, in collaboration with Pixie. Uh, it's the Rach Loves palette. <laughs> this is actually a brand spanking new one because the other one I have in a travel bag that is nearly destroyed. Um, <laughs> I talked about Pixie highlighters in my favorites of the year last year, and I just feel like there is something about the texture of these that is just it's just in even this one right here for like the eyes or like inner corner, right? Like inner mm -hmm. corner, boom, boom, boom. Oh, you did good with this. Thank you. So you can use your own palette there. Go ahead. Oh, I'm so excited. Right? That's, I mean like, a, oh, satisfying. It, it's such a good formula. That's what I was like with the most excited about is when yeah. we were like going back and forth is like and playing with them is the formula is just so creamy. It's nice and pigmented, but you can like layer them and mm -hmm. like play with them and like yes, mix. Yes, yes. You know? But I'm gonna apply this and you are gonna get into some eyeshadows that mm -hmm. were not great. So these are- These take a decade to blend. Oh, you've used these? I have, okay. Hand over. Mm -hmm. Like I get it. Like they can get there and like, I have to say that they wore a really long time on me. Oh, that's good. But, the giant pain that it takes to get a build that is actually looking really nice and blended, I can't stand. Literally, it was one of the longest videos I ever filmed trying to do the eyeshadow look with these. I found it to be this one and there was one by L'Oreal. So I was like kind of flip-flopping between the two, but I found that I would just, I would layer and then I would layer whoa. and then I would blend and then I'd layer and it was just like, whoa. It blends away like crazy. Yes. And this is why, this is my plan of attack. Ooh, I'm you're going gonna go hard. in. Yeah. I'm going in hard because I just want to see if it'll work. It, it's easy to blend it away. Like, you know how some shadows, you can just like blend it away and it's like, where'd it go? And for some people, they, they want that. They want that. They want that's fine. Gonna, that's, like, this is, mm -hmm. that's true. This is one of those products that some people are going to really, really love it mm -hmm. because of that. It just makes it a little bit easier. It's it's 
uh, like a no fuss kind of thing, but I mm -hmm. want, I wanted to be able to see the difference when I'm building shades. I wanted to see it on my face and I wasn't seeing it. And that's what I didn't love about it. and just took too long. Uh, okay, what do you got? I you? made this work. Yes, <gasps> yes, I did. You did. Okay, so secret of this Tell formula. Me. Tell me. You have to go on really thick and not be afraid with it and then do the blend out. Cause that's not bad. No, see, I went in light and then tried oh, to build. Oh, I did too. I yeah. literally, I tried this exact palette and it took me legit like 40 minutes to like, cause I was blending and then it was patching and like moving weird. And this is because I went in really concentrated. And it's beautiful. I like it. I don't, oh. I'm, not, I'm not mad about it. Let's see what happens with the purple. And Let's you need to up. get me an eyeshadow palette. Oh, say, well, I don't, I, well, what would my favorite? I, I, I just don't, I don't know what it could be. Um, there's the Tati Beauty palette. There it is. I was my just gonna say, I'm like waiting. Joy. My oh pride my and joy. And I was so thrilled to see you use it. <sighs> like, uh, honestly, it made me so happy to watch it in action. And uh, it's, it's a satisfying palette. Like, cause there's a lot you can do with it. And that's, it's so beautiful. And I love the way that you had set it up and had it sort of like, it has its color stories, it has the different textures, mm -hmm. it makes it fun and easy to play and mix and match. Mm -hmm. And I loved what your thoughts were with this, the, with the sequin. Like yes. that's just so different, you know? It is, and the sequin, there's a learning curve with it, but what you can do is you literally can soften up whatever you want. Like You, you know what, you should apply it to me. Oh, should oh, I? Oh, yeah. I was just gonna say, I was like, I've been applying this at home, but I haven't had Tati, okay. Tati of Tati Beauty apply it. It's sequin aura. I'm gonna grab light when you are out in the sunshine, mm -hmm. when you have even indoor lighting, kind of hitting on that, and it'll just be this soft sheen. So a lot of people are like, I can't see it, it goes away, and it's like, no, it is still there. It's just you're not really noticing it because you're just looking dead on. What are your favorites to use? I love Soothe. Yeah, I Soothe just, really just like, literally went into it and I was like, I love that shade so much, but the purples are also fun. I've been wearing a lot of those or mixing them and doing like a little of the purple. I, I don't know, remember the name. Is it Ritual? That's the brown? Ritual is the brown, yeah. Yeah, so I've been using that in like the outer corner and kind of like smoking it out, using a little bit of the black like as a liner and then like popping the glitter on top. Mm -hmm. And it's so funny whenever I'm sitting down, especially in like the cooking videos, because I'm much farther back and I don't know what it is, but it really picks up the glitter and the light. And some mm -hmm. people are like, someone's wearing Tati. I'm gonna take a hit of metallic mm -hmm. ritual. Now the thing that I really wanted to have happen with these, like you notice the metallic is not like super crazy metallic, right? Mm -hmm. But if you look, it's just very smoothing and soft. And I've been using these both wet and dry. Yeah, you can use them wet or dry. For and sure. it's, 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 you can really like, if you wanted to make it super like a glam moment, you could do that. This is what I would wear as just like an, yeah. like an everyday type of thing. You know? Yeah, and it does not take more than five minutes. I got some more eyeshadow products. I don't, well, liner, technically. Oh. Now I'm going to do a mix so you can kind of play, which you're gonna be very excited about. So first is by Make Revolution. This is the Liner Revolution. Um, I tried to do a wing liner with it and I didn't love it because it kept drying out on me, which was annoying. And then the other one is by Fenty Beauty. So have fun with that. That one in particular, okay, so these ones were actually very nice. They had like a bright blue and I remember just falling in love with it. It was so pigmented, really creamy. This it was very terrible. saturated, right? This it's is gray. This is gray. We're breaking the rules right now. We like, sh don't share makeup, kids. <laughs> That's, that is true. It's sticky. And it's gray. It's looking so good. Ooh. Rejected. This one was very watery which I didn't love about it. I found like if you wanted to do something really intricate and out, it was I like mean, that very... is a really cool color. It is. It's a really, I'm ready to be the PTA mom of my dreams. <laughs> the right. color is so pretty, but that is. It's like, if you look, like look at it in this mirror. You'll see what I mean. Like, see how it's kind of just like streaky? A little so, bit. You know? It's just... very, oh, actually it is very streaky. You know? And it kind of burns. Oh, that's fun. But it's, it looks cool on camera though. Like, wow. It doesn't look good in person. I'm yeah. here to tell you that. Yeah, right yeah. I'm just applying underneath the eyes because I, I personally like that look, you know? Do you do that every day? Yeah, basically. 
and then I just blend it into the corners. Oh my gosh, this is actually burning my eyes. Oh, take it off, please. Okay, take it off. Oh, yikes. Like, that's not healthy. What is that? Sometimes pigments will do that. Ooh. I just burned Tati. It's okay, I'm gonna get my, my payback shortly. Oh my gosh, what is in that? I'm not even, I'm not even being like stupid or funny or whatever. I don't know. I never had that reaction from, from applying it. I had only applied it sort of like as a, like a triangle accent. Cause I was like, I can't do more than that. No. So this is, yeah, this is the Physician's Formula Lash Mixologist. So this one was a terrible one. It's probably not the best idea to share mascara. Yeah, that's where we you draw know? the line, we could, you know? But what do you have? Uh, What's have your you favorite? Have you ever had, used the collab mascara, the Sally's mascara? Yes. So good, right? That is a really good it's one. so good. I love the, um, um, the pink one. That's the best one. That's the it's only so one. Good. If you get the purple one or the blue one, forget it. Not good. Ooh, I have another one that I like. Actually. <gasps> have you ever tried the Essence? Ooh, this I think so. New. This is a new one? Well, it's a brand new tube. You can keep yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but I've loved that mascara for so long. It's I so I good. Use this one. I think I have. Okay, hold Try on. Try it out. I need um, my eyelash curler. Okay. I'll go, go get it. Ooh. I just hit your microphone. We're gonna pop this on and then like what's left? Is it just like um That's pretty much it. It's just We kept it kind of like I mean Oh I have I like, have like setting spray. Oh she's like I've got more for you. Bad, bad setting spray? Two really bad ones. Oh I can't wait. Yeah, you're gonna be really excited. You're gonna love this. Tell me if you've tried either of these. We have the Bare Minerals Dew Mist. I don't like that one. And the Huda Beauty Resting I have not tried face. the Huda Beauty and everyone hates it. It's why so does, bad. Why do people hate it so much? Smell it. You'll find out immediately why everyone hates it. It smells like hairspray. <laughs> I know. Right? Yeah. Like mixed with something nostalgic and I don't know what it is, but like you can taste it and feel it in your eyeballs. And maybe it yeah. like works really well, but I can't get past the scent of it. It's the scent too is aggressive. pretty bad. And then the bare mineral ones for anyone out there that has not tried that particular one. Um, more is more. Well, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> you have to shake it first. It's like spurted out like in a like straight stream. That one, when it dries down, gives you beautiful little like glitter marks. Oh. Yeah. I like how I'm applying this and I'm not looking at anything. I'm like mesmerized. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, like what am I doing? His talent. <laughs> what am I doing? Ooh, it like lengthened them a lot. Right? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's like wow. $2.99 too. Oh, I love the essence ones. I know. You have Me so too. much like glitter. <laughs> I All know, I give up. I don't know why I'm like spending so much time on this because I'm literally gonna have to take it off and it apply all so the pretty. bad stuff, but I love it so it's much. It's like a very like natural, good products, effortless, but glam yes. look, Super right? soft, fun. I think that if you like were racing through your routine too and you didn't have me like, you know, talking your ear off, like this is a quick routine that you have on. It is, like it really, Min like I mean. Minus, minus maybe the, the contour. I was gonna say the right? bronzer. Crappy makeup on, bad hairdo. I look like Brian Botano <laughs> and like I'm sweating. <laughs> this is a fun video. Welcome to this Where's side. my Dyson? <laughs> the worst part is I'm wearing secret clinical. Uh. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm Tati and maybe you don't want to come over to my channel. I've been a giant mess in this video. Um, oddly enough, in my own studio. But you know what? That's gonna be my turn in a few moments. Yes. Over on Tati's oh, channel. Oh, I cannot wait. Yeah, she's I gonna can't try wait. Oh. Tables are turned. Payback. I'm just a mess. Oh, you even got like a little hair right there. Like a little like brush hair. Great. Yeah, you know. Fabulous. There we go. <laughs> now you're all better. <laughs> now I'm perfect. <laughs> I think we have this full beautiful face. You look pretty. I really you like this. Nice. this I like, like it. Like I look fabulous. You look great. I'm ready to look great because I'm gonna go and rifle through all of Rachel's favorites of the year and I'm gonna put them in action and she's gonna try out the worst of the worst. Make sure you subscribe to Tati if you have not already and I hope you enjoyed our I love this. Super fun day. This was this fun. This was so fun to hang out and play with makeup and just kind of like be. Just so thanks. chill. So. Yeah. Thank all you right. for inviting me into your space. I live of here course. now. I hope you're having an awesome, awesome week, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.